Hi, Andy Maskin here. Um, today I want to talk about probably the single biggest headache for all freelance copywriters, or freelance anything in fact, and that's pricing your services. Now, a lot of people I talk to don't have a great deal of confidence in pricing their services, and they will all talk about the hourly rate. Um, I think the hourly rate is the wrong way to go, um, because once you start charging for your time, all you're really saying is I'm just a glorified Tesco shelf stacker. It's not what I do or how I do it that matters, it's simply how long I spend. Um, now, if you were, uh, had 25 years experience in the aerospace industry, for example, and you're writing copy for airline companies, engine manufacturers, people like Boeing and Airbus Industries, um, maybe that 25 years of experience counts for something and you can actually write better quality copy than a rookie. But if it takes you a tenth of the time that it takes the rookie, are you going to charge a tenth of the price? I think that sounds a bit wonky. So I've got three little ideas here that might help you at the very least to feel more confident about charging uh, an appropriate level for your services. The first one is to start thinking about what else your client is spending their money on. Um, if they're a big company, how much do they spend on coffee and tea in a year? I have a feeling it's going to be a huge sum, much bigger than you're asking for your white paper or your website or your email series, whatever it might be. Um, and ask them if they're quibbling, if they're negotiating or bargaining and trying to drive you down. Just say, well, look, you know, I understand that, but let me ask you a question. How much do you spend on coffee to fill your vending machines each month? Now, all that does is make your you know, keep your staff alert, but maybe they spend time in the toilet all the time. So, you know, compared to the coffee and tea argument, your fee really isn't that significant and you don't need to buckle. The second strategy is to ask them how much their chair cost, or even just think about it. Now, the chair I'm sitting in and have been for the last 14 years is a hog. It's a Norwegian an orthopaedic chair, it cost me the best part of a thousand pounds and I valued every moment I sat in it. But it's never going to make you rich, unlike a freelance copywriter. So let's say that office furniture should rank somewhere lower down the pecking order than your copywriting skills and you've no need to feel that you need to underprice or somehow be cheap. The last and probably most effective strategy, I think, is to look at the value of what the client's asking you to sell. Now, if it's a management consultancy or some other kind of business services firm, they're charging their guys out of £1,000 a day, which incidentally is almost certainly going to be more than you're charging. Um, ask them how many extra days of billable fee time they want to sell as a result of your work, and that bet is 100, I don't know, 200. So they want £200,000 of extra revenue as a result of your work. Um, maybe your £250 from white paper starts to look a bit cheap. So have a go, think about these strategies. There are plenty of others, uh, some of which are in my book, Write Copy, Make Money. Um, and I'm gonna post some other thoughts as I have them. Thanks for listening and watching.